Welcome to week 15 of the 2024 Karens, April 7th through the 13th. It is not a full week of Karens, as we had absolutely nothing for Here's Your Sign Sunday. Which I guess is kind of a good thing, because it was kind of one of those depressing days for me anyway. So, enjoy the rest of the week's Karens, even though it's not near as much as I've been getting because of Twitter getting rid of bots. There's a couple little juicy things, and I'll throw some comedy in at the end. First up, we have fixed the board. Now there's no more clear in the Facebook, because you remember I did that last time. The ones with the little dots that I had colored on the end of it. And all the pearl blues that counted for Walmart customers, I switched to the black pins and found out in the process that those pearl pins from Dollar Tree take up a lot more space. So that should be good for now unless I have to change something else. So Sharpie wise, let's go to purple because I ain't used purple in a while. And guess what? I forgot to freaking open it. Give me a second. Since we have nothing for, you know, here's your sign Sunday, let's jump into Manic Monday with a artist, which I'm guessing furry artist by the profile picture, as you see, sent me a follow on my main account and sent me a follow request on my other account, which I'm not even using anyway. I deleted it there. And then block them on my main. <sighs> IRL! Guess what? Walmart customer. D retail again. Our stupid pharmacy that likes to take all the shit and not leave anybody anything for anybody else. The CeraVe again. Same containers. The big, big jug of it and had the travel size on it. They took all but two. And as I was getting them down from top stock, the overnight manager came over and said something. I'm like, yeah, this is really annoying because it's not fair to our customers that they're taking all of, practically all of this and uh, selling, you know, selling it for more. I was like, I wish we could ban them. And he kind of agreed with me and then just walked off. And here's something we haven't had in a while. On my way home, driving, there were two sports cars weaving in and out of the traffic. Like, y'all, this is not fucking GTA. This is not a fucking racing game. Hope you all get caught doing it because you're putting other danger drivers in danger and you're making people making them nervous for that matter. Now, for Terrible Tuesday on Twitter, eh, they're still not doing the greatest at getting rid of bots because we had a username bot. They got rid of the smut bots for the most part, which is good because those really got annoying. But the username bots are still popping up randomly and of course I've had to tell them to fuck off will they ever stop Wednesday IRL guess what another bad driver and this time I could tell this was a Gen Z driver just like the one construction dude that fucking wrecked my Ford this person was trying to cut across traffic and almost sideswiped us on the passenger side and yeah my boyfriend was in that seat so y'all gen z's fucking suck at driving y'all need to chill that just tells me that person played one of those games and they don't know how to fucking drive right i don't know how they what ass they kissed to get their license but they don't deserve it because that scared the shit out of both of us and I said, man, it's these fucking Gen Z's. Can't fucking drive for shit. 
trying to fucking wreck everybody's cars. Like, they should be the ones paying for this shit. It's ridiculous. On TikTok for That's Not Cool Thursday. We had a porn account view my profile. Boink. On Discord. Okay. So I had this friend on Discord from years ago. And y'all ever get one of those friends that, like, you don't remember them? Like, it's been so long, you don't even remember the person at all. And you're just like, who's, who's that and what community did I meet them in? Like, you just totally, like, don't remember. Like, I recognize the name, but they sent me, like, I guess it was like a month or two ago. They, maybe a month. They sent me a, a server invite. And I'm not joining random servers. Like, no. I'm barely active in the ones that I'm in, for that matter. Like, I'm only active in a few. Um, I'm not joining another fucking server unless I have a very good uh, purpose for joining it and actually plan to be active. So I ignored it the first time. And then on Thursday, I got a second invite to that same server. And since I don't remember that person, I just ended up blocking them. Because, like, just... If I didn't accept it the first time, get the fucking hint. I don't want to join it, okay? I don't remember you. No offense. But don't... Harass people like that. That's harassment. If you're doing it a second time, that's fucking harassment. Then you're a Karen. First time, I will let it go. Second time, no. Fuck it all Friday. On Twitter, we had a... Oh, guess what? Another username bot. But this one actually had the scam account added to it. That was it for Friday, Super Sucky Saturday, on Discord. Again, and on Discord. What is up with Discord lately? Some pushy fucking artist sometimes. Well, no, you get them more on Twitch, but... I got a message from someone in two mutual servers I'm not even active in. One of them was Baru's. If y'all know the Twitch streamer Baru, he's got the panda emotes, and most people just subscribe to him for the emotes, which, fair, because they're adorable. He is a cool guy, too. Um, and I forget what the other, this other server was a smaller one. Like, first of all, I don't know this person. Second of all, my fucking bio straight up says, don't message me unless we chatted in the server first. Okay? If y'all can't fucking read that, then you're a fucking idiot. And obviously they didn't fucking read it. Fucking lazy ass. But, because this was their first offense, even though I'm still gonna add it. Um... I did not block them yet. Second offense, they will get blocked. And they will be added again. Because it's literally... Uh, the second time, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to screenshot the person. I'm going to screenshot my bio. Send it to that person. And say, bye. Because they basically sent me hi. And then block them. So, yeah. Alright, unfortunately that's it for the Karens of this week. Not a lot. So, we're going to add something randomly funny. So for those of you who didn't know, I've been trying to trigger Karens on Twitter with an account that I have that has nothing to do with my username. Um... For content, because obviously we don't have the bots. Let me just say that triggering Karens on Twitter is like finding a needle in a haystack. Because I put some pretty uh, triggering, you know, posts up and nothing. I've gotten views, not very many, because it's a small account, obviously. It's a lot easier to trigger Karens on Facebook. Now, 
speaking of Facebook, one of the groups I think I mentioned before that I'm in called Sick Fucks, I noticed, and it kind of just didn't think about it for a while. I hadn't seen anything from them in, like, at least a week or two, and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot all about it. I'm like, where are the f funny- some of the memes are- I don't agree with, but I, like an adult, fucking ignore them. Um, but some of them are inappropriately funny, and those are the ones I try to look for, to save for friends, to make them laugh. Um, so I search it up, because I'm like, I know they didn't ban me, because I never put anything, like, you know, I didn't put anything offensive in there, or, you know, get triggered by anybody, like, openly. And I found sick fucks, too. So I'm guessing some asshole got the original group shut down. So I put in the join thing for the second one. And of course it gives you the little, um, I agree to group rules. Are you a snowflake? Do you report stuff you don't agree with? And of course I hit no, because I don't do that, because I'm not a fucking asshole. I am a fucking asshole, but I'm not a fucking asshole like that. I get everybody has a different sense of humor, and some of it's just a little bit darker than others. And some people, we just don't know, we don't all agree with the same stuff. So that's fair. I'm not going to be the asshole to do that. For the little question that they put in there that you have to answer, <laughs> this is what cracked me up. And I know there could probably be multiple answers for it. So, you know how, like, sometimes to shorten a word, you put the you are instead of your. So, the question was, what is the distance between your mouth and your anus? So, I put your mom. And I'm like, they're not, they're going to get, I'm like thinking to myself, I bet you anything they're going to get offended and they're not going to accept my request. But they accepted it. So, that just shows they're not snowflakes. Um, so yeah, back to the um, inappropriately funny memes that I have. For those who want to see them. I'm not going to post them on Twitter because I know there's some people on my Twitter that, you know. But if you're a close friend of mine, you get to see them. I need to start remembering to put them in my own Discord because my Discord's pretty dead. And I do need to make a um, NSFW meme category for those who are Gucci with that stuff. But yeah, I just thought that was funny. So hopefully we can trigger some Karens on Facebook. I don't know. It's a struggle finding stuff that I have to put an uh, opposing opinion on. So, well... It just is what it is. See you guys next time.